Chapter 3, Mishnah 6. The Mishnah cites the final dispute between Rabbi Dosa and the sages. A Kohen's wife and daughters are allowed to eat his terumah. However, if his wife or daughter cohabits with an idolater, even against her will, terumah becomes prohibited to her. The Tanaim discuss a case in which a Kohen's wife or daughter was captured by idolaters, and it is not known whether she was violated. A woman, the wife or daughter of a Kohen, who was captured by idolaters, may eat terumah because we do not suspect that she was violated. These are the words of Rabbi Dosa. But the sages say there is one type of captured woman who may eat terumah, and there is another type of captured woman who may not eat terumah. According to the sages, we generally do suspect that a captured woman was violated. However, if she claims that this did not happen, there is one situation where she is believed and another situation where she is not believed. How so? If the woman said, I was captured but I am pure, i.e. not violated, she is believed and may eat terumah. Because the mouth that prohibited her to eat terumah is the same mouth that permitted her to eat terumah. Had this woman not said anything, she would certainly be allowed to eat terumah, since there is no evidence that she was captured. Since she could have kept quiet, but instead admitted that she was captured, which would prohibit her to eat terumah, it is clear that she is telling the truth. Therefore, when she adds that she was not violated, which permits her to eat terumah, we believe her. However, if there are witnesses who testify that she was captured and she says, I am pure, she is not believed and she may not eat terumah. In this case, where it is known that she was captured, which is enough to make terumah prohibited to her, she could not have kept quiet and still be allowed to eat terumah. Thus, we have no reason to believe her when she says that she was not violated.